Welcome back to the Co-op Cooking Show powered by Arkansas Valley Electric. We're amateur chefs and co-hosts. I'm Barbara Jenkins. And I'm Emily Staten. As we all know, nothing brings people together quite like food does. That's so true. We're here to honor our rural roots and highlight Arkansas living recipes throughout the decades. Since the weather is getting warmer, today's episode is what to pack for a picnic. Let's get started. First up, we have lima bean salad. It was in what issue of Arkansas Living? August of 1971. In fact, all of the recipes today are from the August 1971 issue, and it's all about a picnic. Lima beans are low-key one of my favorite vegetables, but I never have them, and I only ever eat them just warmed up plain. So I'm really excited about spicing them up a little bit. We're gonna follow the directions on the back. It said to empty the contents into a pan and uh, per package two cups of water and then cover and cook over medium heat for 10 to 12 minutes stirring occasionally. So we're gonna cook our llama beans, but we've boiled our llama beans and we've strained them and now we're back, we've got them in a nice casserole dish, so it's time to season. So we are going to start with barely covering the llama beans with malt vinegar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would do a little more. I don't know if I've ever had malt vinegar. At least I haven't it. had it in no time. Not that I know of. Yeah. Next is the chopped yes. scallions. And then we're gonna add four tablespoons of olive oil and salt and pepper. It's a very green salad. It is. Ooh. It's like the only specific part. Four. It said season heavily, so. It still makes me nervous. Maybe I can make it in the sink. Need it. She made it. Let's do some pepper. Delicious. And we think it's meant to be cold. Yeah. Also not specified in the recipe. So it said that if you let it marinate for a couple hours, it'll be a lot better. And if you let it marinate overnight, it'll be like even better than that. However, it's a Friday. We're recording this on a Friday. So we will not be letting it marinate overnight but we are making it first. So we're just gonna put it in the fridge for a few hours and honestly, we're gonna try it cold in a bit. Yeah. And if, if we taste we'll, it and we don't think yeah. it's supposed to be cold, we'll let you know. We'll go from there. <laughs> I kinda wanna just like taste a bean. Do you wanna try? I just, yeah, here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it tastes like a llama bean. I like llama beans. Yeah. It doesn't taste. But that's nice. I'm excited. All right, we're gonna marinate it and see what happens. Yeah. On to the next one. Up next is the butter baked drumsticks. So while we were shopping yesterday, we went to Boomba Walmart and Sweet Janet that checked us out recommended that we soak our drumsticks in salt water for an hour and a half to two hours. She said it would just make the flavor that much fresher. So we did. We tried it. It was worth a shot. I'm gonna tell you guys, this spread looks pretty unappealing. It does. I hope that it turns out wonderfully. It's gonna be like crispy baked chicken. I've been calling it fried baked chicken. Same. So first up, we are going to crumble up the Saltine crackers. I could not think of that name. <laughs> I've never used saltines as a breading. Me neither. Actually, we were we were talking to some coworkers uh, before we started filming. Shout out and Tony and Brandon. <laughs> they were guessing what we were gonna fry it with or bread it with. Yeah. And saltines did not come up on the list no. at all. Doritos and flakes. Whatever flakes. Whatever flakes. Corn flakes. flakes. <laughs> Yeah. I've heard I've done Cheetos. Ritz. Yeah. I've, I've never heard of Cheetos. Yeah, it was like a TikTok trend. <laughs> nice. 
Okay. I don't know how mushed up this needs to be, but it's exploding out. So. Yeah, it works. That's enough. Perfect. So up next, we are going to salt and pepper the chicken. You're sticking your hand in there. <laughs> Yeah, it, it turns into something wonderful. It does. It will cocoon and, delicious. and turn into a butterfly of nice juicy chicken. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, salt, pepper, can combine you crumbs and poultry seasoning. I'm gonna do that right now. A teaspoon of poultry seasoning. I'm just going in because the rest of this salt is gonna be used on the chicken, so. Just... Pepper's just going in. It's a lot. I don't know how much pepper that's supposed to be. One fourth teaspoon. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think that's plenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as she does that, I'm going to get the ones that she's already done. The chicken is done, so let's see how it turned out. Our third and final dessert is called Pecan Delights, and I'm really hoping that they live up to their name, and I honestly think that they will. So we're going to do this recipe in two parts. First, we're going to make the crust, and then we're gonna come back and make the filling. We have flour, butter, cream cheese, salt, and sugar yes. right here, and we're gonna mix it all together and make the crust. So we divide the dough into 12 equal parts. I'm concerned about dividing the dough after the rolls last time. Should we call somebody? I think we should call somebody. I have my grams to know. Oh, perfect. Okay. I'll just put her on speakerphone. Yes. I feel like I need to meet her. <laughs> you would love both my grandmas. Let's call her on phone. Hey, grams. Hi, sweetie. Recording the cooking show, and and you're on speaker. Okay. So we're making this pecan delight dessert, and uh -huh. we're making a shell. Is there any specific way we should divide that dough? No, just make you a, a thing, and I would, what I'd do is I'd divide it in half. Yeah. And I'd divide each half into a third. That's all. I mean, you know, it's, it's just going to be a, a visual thing. Okay. Do we need to roll it? Should, yeah, should we roll it out with a rolling pin, you think? No, or? no, just make a ball. Yeah. No, it's just, it's just going to be a side thing. It's not going to be any way to measure it. Awesome. After the rolls, we were a little hesitant. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got it. Awesome. You're good. All right, well, thank you. You're welcome, hon. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so first, we are going to cream the cheek. Cream the cream <laughs> cheese and butter until it's fluffy. I think that's real wrong. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we mix the cream cheese and the butter together until fluffy. I do too. This episode might be brought to you by butter. <laughs> We've, the last one was Cool Whip. We've used a lot of butter. I that's our third stick to yeah. be exact. That guarantees it's going to be good, right? Welcome to the fast. <laughs> You got this. Do I? You do. <laughs> do I? You didn't lock them in? I thought I did. <laughs> now we're going to add flour. And the salt and sugar. So it's just a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. I'm so glad I thought of that before I just dumped this entire salt thing in there. Oh my. And all the sugar. All the sugar. Alright. Alright. Mix. mix her up. I 
Okay, so now we're going to divide the dough into 12 equal parts. Just like Emily's Graham said. I think that's... I think okay. That's okay. Me too. So, dividing it in half. <laughs> Just like Graham said. <laughs> There's a half. Now, each half needs to become six parts. So... One, two. Sweet. I think that'll that'll do it. I'm covering all of the way up. See, like, like that seems a lot. A cup. These are not. These are not done evenly. There's no way. The, this one's like way smaller. That's okay. It's pretty close to evenly. Okay, so we are going to set these aside and get ready for the filling. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the oven on so that it will preheat to bake at 350. Last but not least, the pecan delight filling. We've got the brown sugar, the chopped pecans, a tablespoon of vanilla, and two eggs and then some butter. We're gonna start by putting two tablespoons, I believe, yep, two tablespoons of butter on our um, electric skillet, electric <laughs> burner, I'm not sure what to call it. And then we're gonna add the brown sugar to kind of make a cook. Uh, I'm assuming caramelize. it's gonna caramelize yeah. filling. We're guessing. Turn the pan on. Okay, so while she waits on the butter to melt, I am going to go ahead and lightly beat these eggs. Maybe. This whisk is almost too big to fit. <laughs> yeah. Place sugar and butter. Okay, so we're supposed to add the the sugar now too. Okay. Stir oh until melted. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> it might not. We're also supposed to add the vanilla and oh. pecans right now. <laughs> cool. Okay, here it comes. So now we're gonna evenly spoon it. I don't feel good about this. Let let's put let it in a spoon. bowl. Let me spin you hold. Oh, I don't know. I think we've just made mini pecan pies. I do too. have no idea. I do too. <laughs> so we're gonna put these in the oven to bake at 350 for 15 minutes. Yummy. They look so delicious. Okay, so they've cooked for 15 minutes at 350, and now we're gonna bump the heat back down to 250 and cook it for another 15. The pecan delights are done, and oh my goodness, guys, I think we made mini pecan pies. They do look so good. we're back and it's time to taste test. With us today to help with that process is communications coordinator Tony Wilson and facilities coordinator Randall Qualls. So enjoy. Let us know what you think. Dig in. You want to go first? Sure. I actually like crust. It looks good. No, we're just going to do this old school. Yeah, me too. Chicken's good. I like mm. the chicken. Is it crunchy? No. I didn't think no, so. No, not really. No. It's softened up, I guess, while it's cooking. Mm-hmm. Was it supposed to be crunchy? Oh, we don't know. <laughs> we don't, we're not sure. It's, it's good, though. Good. Really I, good. I taste the spice in there, too. Some sort. I'm going to have to go for the dessert. All right, I'll get a lot of beans. Mm. 
Mm. I can do those. Mm-hmm. They're all right. Mm -hmm. two, two totally different things you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> lima That's beans. That's really good. The lima beans, I don't know, what did you say they were? Lima bean salad. Lima bean salad. And the pecan de la. Really good. Definitely right. taste the butter. <laughs> the butter? <laughs> you didn't say we had to go together. No. Mm-mm. Oh yeah, I can do that for mm -hmm. sure. That's good stuff. The pecan. Put a lot of pecan. No, sure do I. Yeah. We made many like pecan pies without exactly. really realizing it. Exactly. That's what uh, she was telling me, that you had cream cheese and everything in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it remind you of a picnic? Yeah. I could see that, yeah. Yeah. I think the only thing we're missing is actually being outside. No, this is good. Y'all done a really good job. We recommend it. Highly recommended. Yep. Agreed. Thanks for cooking with us today. We have plenty more delicious recipes ahead, so make sure to subscribe below. We'll see you next time on The Co-op Cooking Show. I mean, if y'all don't want to finish it, well, that's no big deal at all. I probably finish it. That's okay. Even though I just got an eating salad. <laughs> we have, we every time we think that we're going to get done by lunch, and we've yet to hit that mark. And I'm not sure how we do that. Here's some, something that, you know, saying that, the dynamics of like today's world versus the way it was when a lot of these recipes were made.